everyone, I just got this package in from my music taste, which should contain two copies of one of his fourth mini album, Lived. I have previously done both a full unboxing of this album, as well as a photo card reveal of the Make Star exclusive photo cards. The copies I got from my music taste are also supposed to come with exclusive photo cards, which was the reason I bought additional copies from there. I did get unfolded posters with it as well. I already opened those off camera. And I got the exact same two posters that I got in the Make Star order and my initial order of the albums from K-Town for you, which was a little bit of a bummer considering there were four random posters that I got the same two versions every time. But that's okay. I'll just have to go on eBay, I suppose, and see if I like the other two versions enough to buy them separately. But inside the box, we can see we have the albums bubble wrapped, and I imagine the photo cards are just going to be loose again. I am hoping for Gunny and Dongju's photo cards, as they are my biases and oneness. Okay, so I didn't realize these photo cards were signed on the back, so I've already been spoiled about one of them, unfortunately. So as you can see here, judging by the signature on the back and the name on the back, I got Soho's. Oh, but I got Dongju as the other one. So that worked out actually really nice because for Make Star, I got one of Gunny's exclusive photo cards. And for this one, I got one of Dongju's. So that is really nice that I pulled at least one of my biases with each of the exclusive photo cards. And this is a really, really nice set of photo cards. I did see photos of it on Twitter uh, last night and this morning before my copies came in. And it's so nice. I really, really love the set of outfits that they wore. So I really love that they did do a photo card set with them. As you can see on the back, yeah, there is a slight little bit of damage due to the way they were packaged, unfortunately. But I like the way they did the back with the signatures on it. That's really, really nice. The uh, Make Star ones just had a background. Very cool set of photo cards. Very glad I picked this version up. And I will obviously be keeping Dongju's as he has one of my biases. But if anyone has Gunny's photo card and would like to trade for Soho, please let me know. I would be happy to do so. US trades only though, because of the current international shipping restrictions. Now for the albums, as I said, I have already done full unboxing of this album. I will link that in the description below. So I'm just going to open these up and do a quick photo card reveal of the cards that come in the albums. Let's see. Okay, I can already tell from the back. I got Raven's white version. I got a duplicate of Gunnuk's red version, which I pulled in my last set of copies. And for my character card, I got a duplicate of Quanum's, because I pulled that in my initial set of albums. So the Raven card is new, that's really nice. I pulled his other photo card in my first set of copies. I really like his new signature with the rose, it's very pretty. Okay, let's see the other version. <gasps> okay. Oh, it looks like I'm, I'm having some good luck in this one, hopefully. Okay, so I got Gunny's character card, which I don't have yet, so that is good. I was hoping I could pull the ones I needed for these and not have to trade, because trading larger cards like this is kind of difficult. And then for the actual photo cards, I got the same card of Raven and a duplicate of Gunny's red version. I do already have Gunny's red version. I have pulled that one before. I'm still missing his white version and Dongju's red version photo card. But yeah, as I said in some of my previous videos for this album, I really do love the aesthetics of this era a lot. I really do love all of the photo cards. This is definitely an era where I would be tempted to collect the whole set. But I know how I am with my collections, and I know if I ever did a full set for an album, I would then be tempted to collect the whole group for every album. And I follow 
far too many groups to be able to afford to do that. So please know when I talk about trying to trade cards, it's not that I don't like the cards that I get, it's not that I don't like the members I get. I love every member, all the cards are beautiful, it's just the way that I like to collect photo cards. I try to limit myself to just collecting my biases, and it's absolutely not meant negatively towards the other members at all, because I love all of them. But that is it for today's K-pop haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.